Welcome to No More Risk. Today I'd like to talk about the four types of water-based sprinkler systems, wet, dry, deluge, and pre-action. The simplest, the most reliable, and the most common is the wet system. The piping is completely filled with water all the way to the sprinkler, and when it actuates, it's putting water on the fire. It has the least amount of trim piping around the valve. It will have a means to indicate water flow. It could be a red box on the pipe, or in this case, a pressure switch. One of the easy ways to tell you're looking at a wet system is there'll typically be two gauges and the pressure will be very much the same. It has one drawback. You can't use a wet system in an area subject to freezing. So one of the choices is we use a dry system. Now, the dry system has something called a dry pipe valve where the water is from the middle down and air is from the middle up. When the sprinkler operates, the air bleeds off, the valve trips, and then the water makes its way to the fire. That gives the fire a head start because there is a delay for that to happen, but it's still an effective approach in those unheated areas. The easiest way to identify a dry pipe valve is it might tell you it is one. The gauges will read different pressures, typically about a three to one ratio. We can see the water pressure is 120 PSI and the air pressure is 40 PSI. It too will have a water flow alarm to tell us that we have a trip and it also may have a low air pressure switch to tell us that we're losing some air. But the gauges and what's on the front of it might be all you need to know. Now, the other type of system we have right here is a deluge system. The thing about a deluge system is it has an independent means of detection. It could be heat detection, line type heat detection, smoke detection, UVIR flame detection, a pilot line of sprinklers filled with air or nitrogen. And whenever that detection system says there's a fire, it will trip the valve and send water to either open sprinklers or open nozzles. The other thing about a deluge system is you can always operate it manually. There will be something that says, in case of fire, push me, pull me, or turn me. Right here and right here. Otherwise, the detection system simply operates as solenoid and the water's on its way. Now, a pre-action system is identical to everything I've said about the deluge system, except it uses closed sprinklers instead of open sprinklers or open nozzles. Otherwise, all the principles of operation are exactly the same. It all comes down to whether you have an open or closed sprinkler. So there we have it, wet, dry, deluge free action. Four types of sprinkler systems. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time on No More Risk.